MyHeritage offers a DNA match labeling tool that lets you organize your DNA match list according to labels that you choose. But how do you use it and do you need to use it? Let's explore that together. My name is Diane Southerd and I am your DNA guide. The purpose of labeling your matches at any company, but here at MyHeritage, is to find the group of matches that correspond to your missing ancestor. So there's lots of ways you can use match labeling, but this is the way I'm going to encourage you and teach you how to use it to have the most impact in your genealogy research. Let's talk about the steps to labeling your matches at MyHeritage DNA. You're going to start by finding a best known match. Then you're going to label that match according to your MRCA. And don't worry, I'm going to teach you what all these things mean. Then we're going to use shared matches on that best known match. And then we're going to give everyone on that match list a label. So let's we'll start with a little bit of background. So if you're going to find a best known match, that's someone who's a descendant of ancestors you already know. Now you might be thinking, why would I do that? I already know these people. I'm looking for people I don't know. Well, here's the thing. Using known matches to find unknown matches is actually the key to this whole research. So it starts by really understanding how many groups do you want to divide your match list into? Because your match list can be divided into a distinct number of groups. So if you look at this pedigree chart here where yourself is at the bottom, then your two parents above you, you've got four grandparents, and then you've got eight great grandparents. So if you wanted to, you could divide your entire DNA match list into these four groups representing your great grandparent couples. So in order to do that, you need a best known match, someone who's a descendant of one of these ancestral couples. So if I wanted to find out about this first match group, I would need to find a second cousin who's a descendant of that direct male line ancestral couple. Okay, now the fantastic thing about my heritage is they make it kind of easy for us to find our best known matches. And they do that using a tool they call the theory of family relativity. Now to access this tool, you need to start by clicking on DNA matches once you've logged into MyHeritage. Then click on that filters tab, and then on the tree details filter, and then go down to has theory of family relativity. This tells the system, I wanna see everybody that has one of these fancy theories. Now, these theories help us find our best known matches. So if you click on this filter, it's going to show you your match list of everybody that has these theories. Go down to a match that you're interested in, for example, my match Michael, and I can click right here on view theory. That's going to pull up this theory of family relativity, and we're not going to take all the time we need to right now to help us figure out how we're related exactly and how this tool works. Just trust me when I tell you that this makes Michael a best known match because he has a theory of family relativity and we can check to see if he really is related to us in this way. All right, so that's the first step in our process to find a best known match. So check, done, right? Now we want to label that match according to our MRCA. Now MRCA stands for most recent common ancestor. It's this couple right here, this couple that connects us with our match, Michael. So in this case, the couple's name is Richmond Virginia Clanch, who married Lily Harvey. So when I label this match, I'm going to label them with the two surnames of the ancestral couple that connects us. So I'm going to label this match as Clanch Harvey. All right, so now that I know what I want to label, how do I do it? How do I make the label? Well, you go back to your match page at MyHeritage and you click on that little square next to Michael's profile picture. And after you click on that square, this little menu will pop up saying you wanna manage your labels. Well, yes, actually, I do want to manage my labels, thanks for asking. And you click on that little um, create new label button if you don't yet have the label made that you need. And then you label it with a color, you choose a color and you choose how you wanna label it, call it whatever you want. I'm suggesting you call it with the two names of the ancestral couple that you share. So then I've created my label and then I just click on that little box next to the label, then click on apply. And then Michael will now carry this new labeled, uh, labeled color. 
So once I've found my best known match, I've labeled that match according to our MRCA. Now I want to find more matches like Michael, more matches that are related to my Clonch Harvey line. And that's when I use this shared matches tool. So to access the shared matches tool for Michael, I'm going to click on review DNA match on Michael's profile. That will take you to Michael's main page. And I need to scroll down until I see this shared matches list. What this list is, is other people who share DNA with Michael and with me, which means that these people are likely related to my Clanch Harvey family as well, either as other descendants like I am, or they're descendants of Richmond's parents or grandparents or Lucy's parents or grandparents. But they're all related somehow to this Clanch Harvey line, which is why I can label them as such. So I wanna label all of these people. So I'm going to click on their little box next to their name. You can see you can do that for all of the people on this list. You don't have to do them one at a time. You can click on each box. Our Manage Labels box will pop up. You click on that little box next to Clanch Harvey and then you click Apply. Everyone on the shared matches list gets a label. Even if you don't know how they're related to Clanch Harvey, their DNA is telling you that they are. So label them appropriately. All right, now your goal is, theoretically, um, your labeling goal is to label all of your matches and label them according to perhaps these four groups that you've decided. If I was doing this for my dad, I would know, I know all of my dad's great grandparents, so I can label all of my matches according to these four great grandparent couples. Now, if you don't know all of yours, you do the best you can. Use the labels as best you can to label the matches you do know your relationship with. Then what are you going to have? Well, left over will be matches with no label. And these matches are likely related to the lines you're interested in researching. So let's review. Our steps to labeling our matches are to find a best known match, label that match according to our MRCA, use shared matches on that best known match, and label everyone on that list with that label. Okay? So I'm excited about the ability to be able to label matches at MyHeritage. It's a game changer. It really does help you organize your entire match list into these groups, which allows you to focus on the group of matches that are most likely to help you answer your question. If you're interested in more great tips about MyHeritage or any other DNA testing companies, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're working really hard to put out information that's bite-sized and available to you that you can act on right away to help you make progress in your genetic genealogy research. Again, thank you for joining me. I'm Diane Southard, your DNA guide.